Alright you guys, this is a segment that I blatantly got off the schmoes now, but it's cool because it gives me a new segment to do for my channel when a certain big movie comes out of a certain actor, I'm going to do the list for the best and worst films in the same video instead of doing it like a big video. It'll be something quick. So today, since the Fast and Furious 6 is coming out tomorrow for everybody else, I decided let's do the best and worst films of Vin Diesel. So I went ahead and picked three of each that he's done. So see, I haven't seen that many movies with Vin Diesel. And this doesn't involve animation. And it doesn't involve the movie he co-starred in. This has to be a starring role and non-animated film. So we're going to do the worst first. So the worst film, at number three, we have A Man Apart. This was the most boring-ass movie I've seen ever of Vin Diesel. I mean, damn. So fucking stupid. I just, I just didn't care. To tell you the truth, I didn't care. Number two, Babylon AD. I think this movie came out in like 2008. Oh boy, what, what, what pieces of shit these, these, this movie was. I mean, talk about a return to film, and you make this. I, 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 mm, no. Number one for the worst film he's ever did. The Pacifier. Oh my lord, this movie was ass. Uh, I remember having the ability, the pleasure of sitting down and watching this crap on cable. I could have changed the channel anytime I wanted to. I was like, nope. I'm going to sit through this bitch because I want to see what this movie is all about. When Disney makes a movie about a Navy SEAL, change it. Okay, because ain't nothing good coming from that. He's not going to stab nobody in the face or nothing like that. He's going to get his ear bitten off by a fucking duck. Babysit some dumbass kids that I just want to fucking slap around like the kids I want to slap around and sight. Are we there yet? And just look like a damn fool. Now for the best films. Number three, Triple X. I fucking love Triple X. It was such a good action film. I had it on Blu-ray. Unfortunately, I had to sell it for money reasons. So now I'm in the, the category of trying to get it back again. But great, great spy thriller. Another good choice. And like I stated before... In videos that I've had but since been deleted he is gonna do another triple X film called the return of Xander Cage so I don't know if, he, if they're going to ignore state of the Union and make Xander Cage the true sequel or what they should because State of the Union was awful number two pitch black great film by Vin Diesel I think this was like his very first not his very first starring role, but his big major role in Hollywood. Even though he had smaller roles back in the 19, early 90s, like 96, 97. But I think this was like soon after Saving Private Ryan and Iron Giant that basically launched his career, I guess you could say. And it was just a good film. I reviewed it. If you haven't seen my review yet, check that out. Number one, Fast Five. Playing a simple Fast Five was the best film in the f Fast and Furious franchise, and yeah, Vin Diesel, he produced he produced the fourth one, four fifth, and this one, and it was I don't know what it was, but Fast Five just made the whole series a lot more better. To tell you the truth, I I like I love the first one, I do, but five is way better than the first one. So, yeah, I guess that says a lot. So, let me know down below what is your most best and worst Vin Diesel movies down below. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to do this one again pretty soon. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned.